Hello and welcome back again to our channel, Children Made Easy. In this in today's video, we've been asked to round this number here, which is 0 0.456356 to the tenth place, to the hundredth, and to the thousandth. So the first thing is what we're gonna do is to identify uh the decimal point. And the decimal point is right here. There's a decimal point, decimal point. And then the next number after the decimal point, whether it is zero or not, it is it is important. Whether it's zero or not is important. But if you're doing significant figures, if the if the decimal point, the number after the decimal point is zero, then that zero is not important. But here, um, whether it's zero or not, it is important. So now we can be able to identify that. This is our first uh decimal number. And if this is the first decimal number, then um to look for the nearest tenth or to round it to the nearest tenth we're going to ask the question what is the number after this four here after the first decimal number and that number is five and since that number is five and or if it was more than five we're going to add one to this uh four here we're going to add one to the first decimal number so that's going to give us that's pretty much going to give us um 0 0.50 and that gives us the nearest tenth. That's the nearest tenth, or which is the same as the first uh, to the first decimal, decimal, decimal place for this decimal place. All right. The next question is asking us uh, to also correct it to the nearest hundred. Now to do that, this is the second. This becomes the second decimal number, second decimal number, and because we've been asked to the nearest hundred, which is the same as to the nearest. Uh, decimal uh, to the second two decimal places we're going to ask the question what's the number after this second decimal number and that number is six and since that six is greater than five we're going to add one to the five here so that is going to give us 0 0.46 so that means we corrected it to the hundredth to the hundred place or to two decimal places all right the next one is to also round it to the thousand to round it to the thousands we identify the next number here and that number is the third decimal number. And since it's the third decimal number, we need to ask the question that, what is the number after this th third decimal number? And that number is three. And since three is less than five, we're not going to add anything to the six. We're just going to leave it as it, so it's, as it is. So we're finally going to get 0 0.456. That means we've corrected it to the thousandth, which is the same as three decimal places. I hope this helps. Thank you and please subscribe.